Good evening, saints. As we approach the period that ends on election day, and as we vote across the country for our leadership, both national and congressional, I'm inviting you to do a few things. It may seem in these days that there isn't a lot that we can do, but we people of faith know that there is some power in working collectively. And what we are called to do, I believe in this time, where things seem so fraught and the future seems so uncertain, is to light a candle, which is something we do often, and to pray for our nation, particularly in this time, and vote. The candlelight lit will be burning through the period from now until voting ends on November 3rd. And I hope that you'll light a candle in solidarity as we bring some light into the world. The other thing I'd like to invite you to do is to join me in putting these signs up. I've put a light a candle, pray for the nation, and vote sign up in front of my home. And I hope that you'll be able to do so if you're so inclined. We're going to be distributing them across the Diocese of Indianapolis. They're available now on our website to download for a digital print of those signs. And there's even one without the diocesan logo if you want to customize it yourself. You can go to indiedio.org to find that. Finally, on the eve of election, the evening before the voting ends on November 2nd, I want, to join, I want you to join me in praying. At 7.30, we'll begin a vigil of prayer, and we hope that you will choose an, a period of time, a half hour, an hour, to hold our country in prayer as we conclude voting on November 3rd. So tune in to the Indie Dio Virtual Abbey on Facebook, where we will live stream the launching of that prayer vigil at 7.30 Eastern Time on November 2nd. We are not powerless, dear ones, and so light your candles, pray for our nation, and vote. And if you've already voted, please do a little something to help get someone else to the polls. Blessings.